Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fourth day of my week featuring Stampendus. Today I will be working with a Smiling Snowman. This is a stamp set and die set. And uh, first of all, I'm going to start uh, by stamping the snowman and the hat. The card that I will be creating for today is going to be a Christmas card, but you can easily change little bits and pieces and make it just a winter card with a snowman. So I'm going to color everything with my alcohol markers and again I'm using my Altenew markers. I'm using a very light shade of blue to add some shadows on my snowman and then I will use shades of red for his scarf and his hat. Now if you don't want this to be a Christmas card but you want to turn it into a winter card you can use other colors instead of red and I wouldn't use this hat just because it uh, reminds me of Santa's hat. So as you can see I colored his uh, gloves, his scarf and his hat with red and I'm also adding some uh, pink cheeks. And now I'm going to bring in the matching dies and cut everything out. The good thing about this set is that it comes with both stamps and dies in the same set. I'm adding some white glue at the back of the hat and then I'm going to stick it on top of my snowman to complete my focal point. And I think he's looking adorable. If you look closer you will see that uh, this snowman has his hands wide open and the moment I saw this stamp I thought that this snowman could easily hold a little garland and that's exactly what I will uh, create now. So I'm using just the back of the post-it tape to hold some uh, wooden letters there that I had in my stash forever. I'm going to cover them up with Versamark ink and then apply some gold embossing powder. Now if you don't have wooden letters like the ones I'm using, you can always uh, die cut letters with any alphabet die set or you can even use uh, different uh, bits and pieces like little uh, sequins or you can even use uh, little uh, stars, cut out stars and create a garland out of them. So many ideas. For my garland I am using a piece of baker's twine in white and red and I'm also adding some glue dots at the back of his hands and this way I can secure the baker's twine as if my snowman is holding it. As I am sticking it on his hands I'm making sure that uh, the baker's twine is quite loose since I want to have this uh, curve. And again, instead of uh, spelling the word Mary, like I will be doing uh, today, you can uh, uh, spell the word peace or the word joy. So many different ideas. So I'm going to place all the letters there just to have an idea of where everything is going to go. And then I'm going to secure everything down with uh, glue dots. And I'm really happy with my focal point, I think he's looking adorable. And with such a gorgeous focal point you don't really need to do a lot for your background. So all I'm doing is applying a little bit of ink with my brush. This is Distress Oxide ink and actually it is a broken china. I'm using my brush instead of a blending tool because this way I apply less ink and it's looking uh, more uh, subtle. Now I have also cut out a white snow bank using a die but you can also just use your scissors to create a curve on a piece of white cardstock and now on the stamp set with a the snowman there, are, there is a bunch of trees which I am going to stamp with the same ink and by stamping them with blue they look as if they are very far at the background just to add something interesting going on there. So now it is time to assemble my card. I'm going to stick the snowbank at the very bottom of my panel and I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. Now I have placed the snowman temporarily on top of my card and I'm going to bring in the sentiment and just try to decide where I want this to go. I'm going to stamp that with black ink at the top of my panel. Then I'm going to stick my snowman down with just a bit of white glue and I'm going to do the finishing touches. So with my white Nouveau Drops I'm going to add some snow at the background. And I'm also going to add some shine on uh, his hat and uh, the white parts of his gloves. So I'm using Nouveau Drops again but this is going to dry clear and it's only going to leave glitter. Now I decided to go with a red card base but you can easily go with a light blue or with white 
And by the way, this is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired to embellish your little characters by giving them things to hold if uh, you think just a little bit outside of the box. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow with the last day of my week featuring Stampendus. <laughs>